Welcome back. Today we are going to answer what happened. So we just got done blowing up these two little engines in the last video where we did our torture test for our Mobile One versus Amsoil and both of the engines failed in the exact same way. But what exactly failed? Today I want to pull these engines apart and actually look inside and see what went wrong before we get started on our new oils. I already have two brand new engines purchased. I'm gonna be removing these two off my board. I wanna pull them apart, see what's going on before we chuck them and get the new ones put on and start our next round of testing. So I've never taken one of these little engines apart before, so we're just gonna to have to learn together. We're gonna to start here with our Amsoil engine, which is the one that failed first at five minutes, 52 seconds. And the Mobile One we will look at next, which lasted seven minutes and 44 seconds. So I'm gonna take off this plate here. I'm hoping that this will actually give us enough inside information that we can actually see what's going on. So we'll start with this one first. Looks like I might have to take off this shield here maybe. And then there are five eight millimeter bolts. So far I don't see anything super abnormal. If I had to guess, I would say it's probably this bearing here, the rod bearing. Uh, I guess it could potentially be the piston, but when I did the research on that, that's pretty rare. So it's probably down here in the bottom end. So I'm gonna continue to try to get this rod bearing out of here and see what it looks like. All right, so I found where the failure finally was. It is actually here between the piston and the crank. This has failed in here. Now I'll pull that apart here the rest of the way in just a second so we can check out the bearing. But what I do want to point out, there are quite a bit of metal shavings down in there. I'm guessing those came from when the engine started to fail. So I'm gonna get this taken apart and uh, show everybody what the inside of this looks like. So it looks like this is no longer stuck. And the piston can actually move up and down now. As soon as I loosen the first bolt on the bottom of the piston, I actually was able to turn the engine over again and the reason that it was able to do that is because it was no longer seized together. So this is the inside of that and I'm not seeing a bearing here. So I think this is like a um, run to failure motor when these finally go bad, it's just time to replace them. You can't actually rebuild this. So there's not a replaceable bearing here that you can pull out and fix. And you can see the lines have been digging in there and the crank looks the exact same, and the top side of the piston is gonna look the exact same, and this smells very, very burnt. It's definitely gotten very hot. So there's a crank right there. That's supposed to be shiny, glossy, smooth, and it's actually not as bad as the rest of the metal on the piston rod and the pistol rod journal, but it's still pretty bad compared to what it's supposed to look like. And there's the other side of the piston rod. You can see, again, that's supposed to be pretty smooth, and it looks like somebody has taken a bunch of sandpaper to it. So as soon as, I put this back together and put the bolts back in. This will stop moving again. It's really just between the crank and uh, the piston rod. So I'm actually not gonna put this back together until we get the other one. So I'm gonna put all this, push it aside, and I'm gonna get the other engine out because I'd like to see these side by side and uh, actually show what they look like because I think that would be cool to see how bad the damage is on each one. Considering that one of them ran for almost two minutes longer than the other one without oil, it'd be interesting to see uh, if there's much of a difference between the two engines. So here is our Mobile One engine and it is still locked up. And now what I'm gonna do is loosen these two bolts on the bottom of the piston. There's one of them loose, still locked up. There you go. And it's moving. There's your compression from the piston. Now, we can take the bottom of this 
piston rod off the rest of the way. And then we can take a look at what to look like. All right, so here on the right we have Amsoil and here on the left we have Mobile One. And obviously they're both really bad looking. They both look like somebody took a bunch of sandpaper or put them on a belt sander or something and that's the lines that you're getting this way are from the crank spinning. So there's the two there. And uh, I wanna take a look real quick at the crank and the piston on the Mobile One now that we have that apart. So here's the crank on Mobile One. Don't look too much different, although this one looks brighter. Uh, the Mobile One looks a little bit brighter than the Amsoil. Amsoil looks a little bit darker. There's the bottom of the piston rod on Mobile One and the bottom of the piston rod on Amsoil. So I wanna go over this one more time before we wrap everything up. You can see that this is turning over getting compression and everything. But as soon as I tighten up these bolts at the bottom of the piston, and they're not very tight, I just barely snug that one in. Then it completely locks up. So it's those two surfaces right there that are basically locking together. It's almost like putting two pieces of sandpaper together and putting pressure on them and then trying to move them. They're just not gonna move. So there you have it. We are completely done testing our Mobile One versus Amsoil, and we're gonna be moving on to our next pair of oils. Now I'm gonna be doing a poll on YouTube so that everybody can pick which oils that they want to see next be tested. And the same thing, we'll be bench testing them and then blowing up a couple engines. And then I might look into those ones too. It is interesting to see exactly how they came apart and what pieces look a little bit different and I can continue to use this footage that I've got here from these two if we decide to pull apart the next set of engines. So I really appreciate everybody for watching. If you watch the entire series, I appreciate it. If not, go back and watch parts one and two for Amsoil versus Mobile One. If you liked what you saw, consider checking out my Patreon. The link is in the description below. I will also have a card up here. These projects are getting pretty expensive with the engines around $100 a piece, all the supplies that I've been using in the oil. And as I've said many, many, many times before, I am not sponsored. All of this is coming out of my own pocket but I've really enjoyed doing this experiment. I think it was really fun to do, and I really would like to continue to do this type of research and just kind of playing around. I think these two little engines are probably the best way to test oils uh, without a lot of variables between the two. So hopefully this has been just as enjoyable for me as it has been for you. If you've enjoyed this, hit the like button, consider subscribing, Comment your thoughts on Amsoil versus Mobile One. If I haven't yet tested or reviewed the oil that you prefer, put your preferred oil down in the comments below. Tell everybody your experiences with it. That's been really good for everybody to put all that information down there so that people can read and find out for themselves what oil is truly best for their application. As always, let's keep the comment section civil and family friendly. Like, comment, subscribe, and we will see everybody in the next video.